Okay, I'm, I'm here on Abbeydale Park Rise and we've got contractors in, workmen, working on the road that are very welcome. And uh, they've uh, actually working on a, a BT uh, telephone lo uh, cable, I understand. And they've come to the, the, the scene of a, the tree that was partially demolished uh, only uh, a week or so ago, but, but saved by the, the brave antics of, of the resident who doesn't want the tree down. But despite that, Amy deployed massive amounts of, of money and police support to come and, and vandalise the tree, even though it was quite clear they couldn't cut it down because there was a lady in the tree in her own garden. But the reason I'm here is uh, this tree has been condemned for damage to the road and we can, we can see quite clearly how damage to the road can be repaired at the moment because we've got a view of what lies beneath the, the, the damage that the council says is unrepairable. It, here's some of the damage and it runs across here. Good. And the, uh, the workmen are currently filling it in, but I don't know if you can see. That this is typical of what we're talking about. There's lots of soil underneath here that could be excavated, and these, this crack would then disappear completely. Uh, the workmen are just filling in the, in the, uh, in the trough here, and that's all they're paid for. But if Amy used used similar practices, which may involve uh, man manual work like these chaps are doing, then this tree could be saved. Here, here you can see how uh, the pavement's being disturbed at the base of the tree, but there's no sign of the roots, no sign of the roots anywhere near the surface. Clearly, uh, th there wouldn't even be a, a need for ramping in this area, but. Uh, but Sheffield City Council and Amy are not interested in any work at all and uh, instead it's, uh, it's just been filled in. So there was a, a brief glimpse of the uh, what, what goes on below this supposed damage of the uh, Of, of the trees and as, as you clearly saw there this could be repaired with, probably with no ramping necessary at all and here's a, here's a look at the the curbside and again there's, there's no issues here with the road clearly this is just just the council being uh, pig-headed and say no we've decided this is going to go and it's going to go the repair that these people are, are doing is uh, as you can see is um, manually labour intensive and we believe that that is the reason that uh, the, the Amy aren't interested in, in uh, this they'd much prefer to come through with a planing machine and then just have a clean run with with big machines on this okay i'll, I'll, uh, I'll stop here okay i'm now in the garden reaching over with my selfie stick and looking into the, uh, the trench and there you can see the roots. A uh, good eight inches down below the, the surface of the, the road. All that would be required to, you can see the little crack in the, the, the road there, that's why it's been felled. It's lifted a, a paving slab there. The roots are there. And there's a few minor ones there that they've carefully dug around and not severed. This, this, this is the sort of work that we're trying to persuade Amy to do, but they won't do it. But, and, and yet, they've got scope in their 
their contract to, to do this work, they're just unwilling to do labour intensive work like these chaps are doing today. Clearly, this tree is saveable, but it's down for damaging surrounding structures, e.g. curbs. Okay, the, the guy's now nipped off to have a sandwich and I'm, he's not looking, so I'm gonna nip in and take a, a quick photograph. So th these people are, are here. They shut the road down the, today. It looks like they've dug up the road and they're going to resurface their bit that they're, they're responsible for immediately. And it looks like they they could have quite happily happily uh, they they could have quite happily done the whole lot if if the Amy contract would have allowed them to. This area of the road could have been resurfaced instead of patch surface. So here we have a picture. I'm, I'm actually leaning out from a garden wall here to take these. This, um, I'm not allowed in this uh, work zone. So, as you can see, this, this the roots are nowhere near the surface. The workmen have managed to dig under the roots, and they're fitting a a, a tube to uh, run BT internet cables. Down, and so they've laid a uh, they've, they've laid a, a tube underneath the roots, and there's about six inches clearance of topsoil, which can be compacted down. And this crack here is just due to historic expansion of the root. The root's not going to expand anymore. It's a mature tree. All they need to do is resurface the road and leave the tree alone but for some reason the council are determined to uh, 
cut down this tree and we firmly believe it's simply because it's part of their 7,500 tree quota. Just, just here, there were some major roots going through. I think it's, that's what these mine, uh, lines mean. But there's roots going through here, and there's, there's, there's simply, absolutely no reason for felling this tree. And yet, they're saying it's damaging structures. Residents have still got the uh, Christmas lights in the tree and uh, this year they, they, they raised significant, uh, well I think it was thousands of pounds for a charity just from donations from people that came to see the lights. These trees are valued for the, the cherry blossoms which uh, are about to come out, uh, that will be a real display. Uh, the value for the bees that come, those local beehives, will be uh, diminished because of the, uh, the food that these things provide will disappear. Um, I'm just in inside the property that we've been invited to, I'm trying to take a, some footage on my selfie stick. I'm just going to nip out. There's a, there's a quiet spot here. They've told me, told me not to come out here. So if health and safety are watching, I've not, I've not been given permission to stand here, but as you can see, this, this whole area could have easily been levelled completely. And if, if they, they have to ramp it, it's simply because that there's already a ramp there and they're not allowed to work. They're not allowed to work outside their trench so you can see a crack here clearly that that crack could disappear and, and this this tree has done its growing it's a mature tree it's it's its roots aren't going to double in size or quadruple in size anytime soon it's it's, it's just not going to happen the logic of selling this tree just doesn't make any sense at all if they fell the tree and plant uh, another cherry tree here, exactly the same thing will happen again. The roots will go down deep into the soil, well not that deep into the soil if it's a cherry, but then they'll expand and push the soil around them upwards and the whole cycle will start again. Keeping this tree will mean that that, that, that work won't happen, that, that uh, expansion won't happen as much. I've uh, managed to nip it to uh, one of the gardens where we've got permission and uh, just stood, stood in the gateway here and as you can see in, in less than a day the, this area of the footpath has been resurfaced completely smooth as far as they can go there's a, still a slight hump here but that's because these contractors are not allowed to work right to the across the pavement and they're not paid for it as well of course so if this was actually done by someone who's paid and allowed to uh, go along here it would probably be ramped from back here and all of this would be perfectly smooth there'd be a slight gradient possibly not even a gradient if they were allowed to take all that top material off they, they could just reduce the thickness of the, the soil that lays above the, the roots and possibly have a completely flat back pavement here. All it requires is for some people to stop digging their heels in and start talking sense instead of bullying tactics. Okay, I, I'm... Uh, I've got one of the residents here who was instrumental in, in actually helping protect this tree. Yeah, this morning, came out, uh, I thought it was um, Amy or 
driving and I realised it's BT so you couldn't make it up really, you couldn't have planned it any better. And uh, this is the uh, final uh, outcome of today's work and um, it's amazing really and we've been having a chat to the guy and um, we've realised that it's not a very hard engineering solution to put in place and um, he said that the, um, it's only up to six inches of soil that was taken off between the roots and the bottom of the tarmac and then they uh, it's taken about half a day to do and then they've laid the tarmac back down and as you can see it's very sort of manually intense labour it's not any fancy machinery or anything that Amy has uh, shied away from using it's very sort of simple work and this is what we've seen all along with how like if this if, if BT can do this and these guys can do this why can't Amy do it so so that's all good to see really. Yeah, I can completely agree there. The, uh, I, I got some footage earlier of when the, 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 uh, the area was uncovered and they, there's definitely a, a layer of, of soil that exists between the, the roots, the top of the roots and the bottom of the tarmac. So this, this hair area here, they've repaired it. Obviously they can't make it flat because the part of it is out, outside their remit to, to work on and they're getting into trouble if they repaired the whole of the road which, which is a shame really because it would have probably been quicker and easier but that's the nature of contracts so, but, uh, so this area could have been ramped from the gate over there down to to, down, to, down to the middle of the shot here somewhere and that in combination with removing topsoil around the area where the, the uh, tree was would completely flatten this area out and it, if, if these BT people were allowed to they would have probably done this free gratis but uh, they weren't and it's again it's, it's down to contracts so we need to talk to the people in, in, in control of the contracts to resolve this issue. So here we are after the, uh, the uh, workmen have uh, left the area. Well, there's a barrier van over there, a welcome site for a change. And, and this is... Uh, this is uh, the, the condition of the road that they've left it in. Obviously they have to follow the contour of the road and... Uh... Here, the, you can see area which is no longer cracked and uh, it's smooth where it can be smooth obviously they've, they've got to follow the the contour of the, the remaining part of the road that they're not allowed to to uh, to remove so they, they can't change the levels here as, as we saw, the roots were nowhere near the surface. There's there's a piece of uh, soil between the bottom of the tarmac and, and the uh, the roots. So in this area, this could be completely levelled. Without any real difficulty at all. Just come coming up to the uh, the other tree. And in this area here, the tree roots that, that cause these slight disturbances are actually uh, about 
between four and six inches below the bottom of the tarmac. I could see that from the uh, from the photographs earlier.